Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to North Country Off Grid. I'm Chad. Hey, we are dealing with a lot of people coming in on our road, our private road. It's a privately maintained road. And re recently we've gotten a bunch of traffic. Um, a lot of people coming in and out of this place, and I'm not really sure why. There was up on the neighbor's property down at the end, some guys had came up with um, either concrete in the back of their truck or a concrete mixer or something and they dumped out all their excess concrete, dumped it all over the neighbor's property, washed out their truck and then took off. Um, and that was actually a few days ago. Uh, we came in last night, it rained a little bit last night and this morning Shelby called me um, and said, hey, someone is ripping around on the road. You can see them swerving back and forth on the road, not sure what it is. So I came out to take a look. I'm gonna show you guys what I found. All right guys, so you can see these tracks right here. You can see this one right here goes up and then swerves over real abruptly over to this side. And they're zigzagging all the way down this road. I went and looked at some going the other way which isn't a huge issue. You know, obviously more wear and tear on this road. We're responsible for the maintenance. This is what's gonna happen. Um, but you can see right here on this side, right here, they ran up on the embankment on the side of the road. Okay. So one trip down this road, obviously doing this kind of stuff is, um, it's disrespectful, you know. It's not their property and it's just kicked up dirt as of right now, but that kind of stuff will cause damage over time, and that's wear and tear on property that private landowners don't want to deal with, but this is the kind of stuff you deal with with people who don't own land, and people are just wanting to come out and mess around on your land. Now, these treads, they seem very narrow to me, like a car, or possibly a UTV. You guys tell me what you think. I mean, that's five, six inches wide at the most. All right, guys, you can see right here the abrupt uh, changing from one side of the lane to the other side of the lane. There's nothing here. There's no reason to go left or right. Um, but you can see how erratically they're driving. And then as they come up a little bit more, they go from the left. And you can see that it goes hard to the right and then back to the left. And in this instance, they actually aimed for this little bump, this little divot. You know, normally you'd stay off to the left. It comes down here where it drains. There's a bump here. They obviously came down, hit it, went up again hard left. So it's either, it's either someone riding around, playing around, having fun. Or, if someone's driving like this, they could possibly be DUI, in which case, uh, I'm not having it, for sure. We're not going to um, endanger my kids out here to have a good time, just because they're out on a, what they think is a country road. But I'm going to take you guys up to the end of the road. All the dogs are escorting us. They'll keep us safe from any cougars. We get a lot of moose out here, too. Uh, especially in this area, a lot of moose coming by to say hi and the dogs keep them in check I got the kids with me making a bunch of noise back behind me as well De Deegan's keeping us safe with his nerf gun we left the AK at home today so here's the end of the road easement all the way to the west end and you can see right here Charlie's checking it out you can see right here Somebody came in and dumped all of this gravel and then they washed their truck out right here and it goes all the way back to where Dixie's at right there. They just backed the truck in and blew it every which way. So this way, you guys might not be able to see it, but all the way down there, right about the middle of the road right there, the neighbors have the easement um, wired off, no trespassing signs, and that's to keep people out because they deal with tons of no trespassing and they deal with a bunch of uh, people vandalizing their stuff so obviously it gets it gets crossed off because they can't they can't do it on their own you know and stay out of here just because the signs say that now down this way there's generally 
Um, there's generally a cable down here. This road's a whole nother story. This is not part of the easement. This is somebody putting in their own road, but right here is generally, or there's um, a wire across the road right here, and it's not up, which makes me think that he's either in there or they've cut his cable and went through. It would not be the first time they have cut his cable. He got cut just a couple of months ago. Um, people just hook their truck to it, rip it down, cut it, whatever. All right, guys, so we're back down in front of our place. Right here, again, you can see where they rode up on the embankment. You can see the way it carries off, so they just hit it, went all the way over to the left again. I'm pretty sure it's just someone messing around, um, dinking around on a UTV or something, but I don't like the way they're swerving up on the the side of the roads. Now here's the other side of my property there. You guys all remember that gate and that little no trespassing sign there. We're gonna put a trail cam up there. Knock it off, Deegan. So we're gonna run back and grab a couple of trail cameras to put up. Deegan's shooting me. Shoot me with that Nerf ball. A little turkey. You know, all that stuff is gonna stay there unless the neighbor cleans it up, so. It'd be nice to be able to uh, find the parties responsible and say, hey, come clean up your mess. Go properly dispose of it somewhere else. You get a lot of that out here. People trying to dump, you know, they don't want to go to um, the dump and dump their stuff. In this county, your taxes already pay for the dump, so the dump is free. They just don't want to go. They just hit a dirt road and throw out trash, throw out crap. So we're going to go and do that. Like I was saying, there is an influx of uh, travelers up and down the road, and there's a reason for that. And I'll get into it with you guys on a, on a later video. But essentially, um, our little private spot back here. Wind picked up. I hope that's not too much in the mic. Um, our little private quiet spot back here has been discovered by developers and there are some developers looking to buy up um, and develop quite a bit of the land around us. Unfortunately, that's the way it goes. I guess we just didn't move out far enough. So things are gonna be a change in around here. So we got the we got the uh, game camera placed up the tree. It's up the tree quite a bit. I don't think if anybody backed a truck in there that they would even still be able to get up on the, the back of the truck and get it. So I think other than an extension ladder, that one's gonna be pretty safe. And it is, I propped up a branch right back behind it. And um, gave it a downward angle. So from here, Here's what you're seeing. You're seeing out my drive up to the south end of the property and then the road coming across. So if anybody pulls in here, it's gonna trigger. It should trigger out to the road, but what we're gonna wind up doing is putting another one a little bit closer. Um, and this other one's gonna be a little bit of a decoy too. And we'll see if we can't catch someone trying to steal our game camera as well. So we're gonna stick it a little bit closer and inside of this one. All right guys, so we have this natural pile of, uh, well it's not natural, someone placed it here, but it's been here a long time, but it's a big pile of leaves and sticks. And we're gonna embed this one into here. All right, guys, there's our bundle of sticks. And right there 
Here's our trail camera. So it's blending in there pretty good actually. I think unless you were, uh, you just got lucky to see that or knew what you're looking for, you would never see that. So we've got two, we got one there and we got one up there in the tree. So if someone comes and steals this one, they'll most likely pull right in here if they see it, which means we'll get their license plate, catch them stealing, classic cheese gets the mouse behavior. Right, Cals? Yeah. Right. All right, guys, we've got the trail cameras up. We're using two kinds of trail cameras out here. We've got a stealth cam trail camera. That's the one we put down in the brush pile. But the other camera, the one that I have up in the tree, that's a Moultrie, uh, a Moultrie cam. And uh, that's my better camera. I like that camera. It's got a really good, uh, it's got a really good trigger speed on it. It catches things quick as soon as it comes into the opening and then uh, it records. It has different record settings. They both have different video settings. So, and that's what we've got them on. We got them on video. That gives you a lot of, a lot of footage actually. 30 second clip of what's going on um, tells you a lot. So that's what I've got them set at. If you guys are interested in those cameras, I'll post links to those kinds of cameras, um, specifically the Moultrie cam. Um, and stealth cam. They are both good trail cameras. I've used quite a few trail cameras over the years and I like those two quite a bit. But anyway, there'll be a link in the description. You guys can check those out. If you're having issues, security issues, get a trail camera. Man, trail cameras are great. And the worst feeling you can have is, oh God, I just wish I would have known what happened here. And I wish I would have had my camera. Or I wish I would have had a trail camera. Or I wish I just would have, you know, been there at this time to see whatever happened. If someone comes out here and does a burnout in the road and digs a hole, I'm the one who has to come and fill it up. So, you know, and it's extra work I don't want to do. And if we can catch somebody messing around and force them to come back and fix it themselves, I'm sure that'll be a lesson learned. So that's all we're doing on this video. Uh, no, no big deal. There is damage to the neighbor's property. As far as I'm concerned, I wouldn't want anyone dumping anything on my property. That would upset me. So we're just gonna kind of try to keep people honest out here with these trail cameras. All right, you guys, hey, if you guys have had any issues with this kind of stuff, people dumping on your property, people tearing up your road, I'm sure you guys are going to let me know anyway, and I want to know, so go ahead and let me know. Um, tell me about what you guys have done. What have you done to deal with it? What have you done to remedy the situation? Or what have you done to catch them? I'm sure a lot of you guys have used trail cameras from the last trespassing video we had. Um, and if you guys are new to the channel, go back and check out that video. But from the last trespassing video we have had, um, a lot of you guys said get trail cameras, use trail cameras, and, and we are. So that's it guys, we're just going to try and keep people from, uh, dare I say, vandalizing the road. I know the last time I used the word vandalizing, the crybabies came out of the woodwork. I'm not sure how you would describe somebody writing all over your trespassing sign, um, but if you're going to cry about the words that I'm using. I'm sure you're gonna let me know anyway, so go ahead. You know, I'll give you guys a little heart. As long as you're not doing any swearing in the comments, you get a little heart comment from me, whether I agree with your opinion or not. Um, it's just my way of saying, hey, I've read your comment, I hear what you're saying, but you get a heart from me.